Hello, Phi Theta Kappa students. This is a meeting, uh, meeting notes. Uh, nobody was able to make it to um, the meeting uh, in Burton today, um, which is the 25th uh, of January, um, which is okay. We'll find a good meeting time um, that works uh, for more people. But I did want to go over some announcements, so some things to think about before next week. We will meet in person in Bruton in Pate 106, which is the D building uh, on the Bruton campus uh, on Groundhog's Day on the 2nd. So let's look at uh, the agenda that I had for today's meeting. I'll shrink my big head. Okay, so. First item of business, let's get the correct date on there. Um, I have a little video here if you're a little um, skeptical or haven't participated in PT, uh, PTK. Um, I'm going to provide a link with this video um, of, uh, you know, it's an eight minute video that goes over all the benefits of Phi Theta Kappa, which probably does it better than I could because it's Phi Theta Kappa members talking about it. Um, so, I, you know, it's eight minutes of your time, and I would really appreciate it if you uh, did take a look at it and check it out. Now, um, next thing on the agenda is we have two conventions coming up, the first of which is the regional convention the first weekend of March in Fairhope. Now, um, you might be wondering, what do we do at these conventions? What's the point? Well, um, at the regional convention, we get um, our awards. Um, for the year, uh, we were able to complete a college project last year. Um, in addition, we have breakout groups, um, a college transfer fair. You can talk to recruiters um, from all the major colleges in the state, and usually Mississippi State as well comes. Um, in addition to that, there's workshops on scholarship applications. Um, basically, um, there's going to be forums on some of the stuff that um, you need to know as a transfer student that not everybody necessarily gets that information from parents or um, from teachers or things like that. Um, also, we're going to have some free time in Fairhope, which is a great town. Um, it will um, have a lot of live music uh, that Friday night that we're there. So it's definitely a worthwhile um, convention, a little getaway in the middle of the term, which is nice. Um, so. I strongly encourage uh, you to let me know as soon as possible if you're interested um, in going to the regional convention, and I will send you a link um, to the current, you know, tentative agenda. And um, you know, we recorded the sessions from last year, so that you may be able to check out some of the stuff that we're going to do in person that we did um, virtually last year. Okay, so the next thing is the international convention, which takes place in Denver, Colorado, April 7th through the 9th. I do need commitment on this soon um, because driving is too far, so we need to buy plane tickets. Um, since this isn't in the Eastern or Central time zone, we've got a ways uh, to go to go to this meeting. Now, the International Convention, here's another video that gives the highlights of the Kansas City Convention. That was the last in-person convention that we did a lot of stuff. Um, at the International Convention, we have um, seminars led by experts in the field. There's a massive college fair where um, colleges from all over the country uh, have recruiters there looking for you and telling you what kind of Phi Theta Kappa scholarships you can get and what their schools offer. Um, there's great keynote speakers. Um, we've had people from television to adventurers. Um, Robert Ballard, who um, discovered the Titanic, spoke uh, at a convention. We've had people who have climbed Everest, um, actors, uh, the, the actor who played um, Jefferson in the Hamilton musical, um, did a sit-down interview live uh, at the convention. Um, Jamie from Mythbusters uh, did a bit uh, a few years ago. So we've got really good keynote speakers, generally speaking, at the convention. But it's also a really good opportunity to meet people from all over the country and network. Um, share experiences, uh, college life, uh, transfer information, all sorts of great stuff. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, there's a nice uh, farewell dance at the end of it um, that's kind of a formal affair. So there's a lot of good stuff um, at that international convention. And it's a lot of fun. 
Um, both the regional convention and international conventions give you an opportunity to not only network, but also um, participating in Phi Theta Kappa events gives you something to talk about um, in job interviews, gives you something to add to your resume, um, all of these things that are preparing you for a successful life after college, um, Phi Theta Kappa can help you with. All right, so let's look at some of the stuff that uh, we have going on on our campus this semester. Um, we want to do the chili cook-off again. Last year was a big success. We raised almost $300 for Paws Crossed um, in Bruton, which is an animal charity. Um, it's also a lot of fun to have competition between various campus groups um, who put together uh, a chili team. This year, um, <coughs> excuse me, last year we only did um, donations as the voting for your favorite chili. That was, um, you know, each table had uh, a donation um, jar and whoever got the most money won the competition. This year we're going to split it between the money and a panel of judges for the chili cook-off. Um, but it's a lot of fun and hopefully we can get paws crossed to bring some puppies out and you know just really enjoy um, the day. The, the week we're looking at currently, and this is tentative, I haven't checked with the college yet, um, but the week of March 14th, which is the week before spring break. Also, we have an induction every spring where there is an initiation ceremony um, into Phi Theta Kappa where friends and family can um, come and, and celebrate your academic achievement. Um, it's a nice little event. We'll have some, you know, a um, little bit of a reception afterwards where everybody can kind of chat and uh, get along. It's a great um, event. We typically do that at the end of April or maybe early May. I doubt it since we got finals in May, but um, toward the end of the term, we'll have uh, the induction ceremony. And also, um, for those of you who are new, Phi Theta Kappa uh, goes on the calendar year as opposed to the academic year. So we're getting started um, on our projects for this year now. Um, and for that, we need officers and leaders, um, even within a leadership group, um, to kind of take the reins and, and get started on some of the projects that we do to give back um, to uh, the campus community and the community at large. And the whole purpose of this um, is to serve our community, one, but also, you know, if you're in a job interview, name a time where you overcame a challenge or name a time where you worked with others or name, <coughs> name a time when you did something above and beyond what you were asked to do. Phi Theta Kappa gives you the opportunity um, to get that experience of working with fellow students um, to help you um, in your future careers. But not only that, a cool thing about um, this is you get to research and do something that you're actually interested in. It's not assigned to you. You get to choose what you're doing um, for the projects um, within certain limitations, of course, but um, I think a lot of students um, don't get enough of that in college where um, they're allowed to do research and um, head projects that, you know, aren't just assigned to them. So good stuff there. Um, and we can talk about that at our next meeting, which is the last item on the agenda. Um, the next meeting is Wednesday the 2nd of February at 1.15. Now, um, the first two meeting attempts were on Tuesday and, and we didn't have very uh, high participation. So I'm hoping if we move it to Wednesday that we will get some more folks there and I hope to see you there. So let's have a good term. Um, if uh, you're thinking about join, joining PTK and you're not quite sure, um, you know, watch that recruitment video and um, you know, check out some of the things that Phi Theta Kappa does and what it can offer you. Um, and I hope that you decide uh, to join and participate uh, in, the, um, in the organization. So I hope to see all of you next week. Um, thank you for your time and um, let's get moving forward for this semester. Come on you. Doesn't want to let me stop. Here we go.